This is a tutorial on a very simple knotted plant hanger. I was just about to make one, but I keep forgetting the measurements, so I thought why not lay them out systematically, record a video, and then I could refer back to it whenever I need to, and hopefully it will help one of you. The first thing you'll need is some macrame cord, and I just got this off of Amazon. It's a bundle of 100 meters, and it is the three millimeter cord. You'll also need a ruler or tape measure, and a pair of scissors. The first thing you'll want to do is find a plant that you want to hang up and measure the pot that it's in. So I'm going to be hanging up this uh, neon pothos and the size of the pot is six inches in diameter and four inches from the base to the top. So four inches in height. The second thing you'll want to measure, how far do you want your plant to hang down? When I was editing this video, I realized that I didn't explain the section very well at all, and it's a pretty key part of the tutorial. So I've popped the measurements up on the screen, and I'll just talk you through them. So what you're going to need to do is cut three strands of macrame cord, and each strand needs to be the following measurements. So you're going to take your total desired drop length. This is how far down you'd like your plant to hang. And for me, my own measurement was 2.5 feet or 30 inches. To that measurement, you're going to add the diameter of your pot. So my measurement was six inches. Then we're going to add the height of your pot. So mine is four inches. And then we're going to add a little bit of buffer. I only added two inches of buffer. If this is your first time doing this tutorial, you might want to add a little bit more because you can always cut away the cord at the end, but you can't add any back in. If it's your first time doing this tutorial, maybe you want to add a five inch buffer instead of the two inches that I added. You're going to add all of those together and then you're going to multiply the results by two. So my numbers are shown down below. 30 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2 inches of buffer. That is 42 inches multiplied by 2 is 84 inches, which happens to be 7 feet. So I'm going to need to cut three 7 foot long strands of cord. Your measurements may differ, but this is how you can calculate your own. I'm about to measure out a length of cord that is 7 feet long and my ruler is 12 inches long or 1 foot. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to take the cord and wrap it around my ruler seven times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this plant hanger is very forgiving, so even if your measurements are off the slightest bit, it's not going to matter. And I'm just going to snip off the cord here where it attaches to the rest of my um, ball of cord. So once I'm done with this seven foot long piece, I can use this to measure out two more pieces. So I basically want three pieces of cord all together. On this side is the piece of cord that I just cut. On this side is the cord that's attached to the ball. I'm just going to line up the ends, measure out a length that's approximately the same. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to snip that off. I'm going to do it one more time. And as you can see, it is a little bit off, but that doesn't matter. Now I have three pieces of cord. Each of them are seven feet long and I'm going to double these up. I've now folded the seven foot long cord in half. I did have three strands of seven foot cord. Now I have six strands of three and a half foot cord with a loop on one side. I'm gonna tie a very simple knot at the end where the loop is. I basically wanna maintain a loop on one end so I can put a hook through to hang this as a plant hanger. So let's go ahead and tie a very simple knot so that our loop can remain in place. You don't have to worry too much about how big the loop is as long as it's enough to get your hook through. So I usually do a knot that's like this. I guess I could put two fingers in, but I just keep one finger in the loop. I pull it taut. And if I were to measure this loop, 
just to see. It's about two inches. I'm gonna tighten this up just by pulling on each of the individual strands of cord. So now as you can see, I've got a loop, I've got a knot, and then I've got six individual strands of macrame cord. The next thing you'll wanna do is divide up the cords into pairs. So you're gonna divide up the cords into sets of two. So here's one. Here's another one, and the third one. Once again, my drop is going to be two and a half feet, so that is about 30 inches. I'm gonna start subtracting numbers from the 30 inches, that's my desired drop length, because that is going to determine where we place our next knot. So I'm gonna take 30 inches, and I'm gonna subtract how big my loop is. So again, that was about two inches. So I'm gonna take 30 minus two, which is 28. Then I'm gonna subtract the dimensions of my pot. You'll recall my pot, which is very similar to this one, is four inches in height and six inches in diameter. So I'm gonna subtract four from my 28, which is 24, and then I'm gonna subtract six which brings me to 18. So 18 inches is the measurement that I'm looking for. Once again, I've taken my desired drop length, I've subtracted how long my loop is, I've subtracted the height of my pot, as well as the diameter of my pot. I'm gonna take the same 12 inch ruler and I'm gonna place it along my macrame cord, the first pair of strands here. Because my ruler is 12 inches long, I'm just gonna take my finger as a marker, slide the ruler down, and measure out another six inches, which would be right here. Now, if you have a tape measure, you wouldn't have to do this because your ruler wouldn't end. Once again, this is really forgiving, so if you're just a little bit off, it's not going to matter. This here is 18 inches, and I'm gonna place my knot right here. So I'm gonna knot these two strands together. Before I tighten the knot, I'm just gonna double check it doesn't have to be perfect, but um, I do like it to be reasonably close to what I had planned. So now that I know where 18 inches is, I could go ahead and tighten the knot. And I'm just gonna use this knot now as a guide for my next ones. So I've knotted these two strands together. I'm gonna knot these strands together and these strands together. We've now made four knots all together and we're actually halfway there. We only have four more knots to make. So now we are going to pair up the strands again. This time we're gonna take each of these pairs of strands and we're just gonna open them up a little bit. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna tie these strands together, the ones that I've opened up that are side by side. And then the last two will be the outer ones, but I'm just gonna leave them here because I don't want the strands to get all messed up and you won't be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna tie a knot here, here, and then once I've done those, I'm gonna tie these two outer strands together. This is going to start forming the basket where we're gonna put our plant. This measurement is going to be the diameter of your pot. Once again, this pot is around six inches in diameter. So this next knot is going to be six inches from the knots that we just made. So I'm going to move these two strands together so I can better measure six inches. We've got six inches right here. I will start the knot once again. Right around six inches, so I'll go ahead and tighten the knot. And again, you're not including the knot in the measurement, but these knots are small, so it's not gonna make a huge difference. So if I open up the strands again, you'll see that um, I have basically just tied these two together, and I'm gonna do the next one here. Here's what I have so far, and now I'm gonna knot these two outer ones together. using my other two knots as a rough guide. All right, 
there we go. We only have one more knot to make and that is going to be the knot at the very base of the plant hanger. The height of my pot once again is around four inches so I'm going to measure out four inches from the last knots that I made. And this is going to be all of the strands together similar to when we did the loop at the top. And I am going to go ahead and measure it before I tighten the knot. This looks about right, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten it. Once again, pulling on all the individual strands to make sure you have a really tight knot at the bottom. This is going to be holding your plant. Perfect. Here is our plant hanger. It doesn't look like much, but it works and it is really quick once you get all of the measurements down. The most difficult part of this tutorial is getting your plant in. So here is how I like to do it and it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So you've got your knotted plant hanger here, very simple knotted plant hanger. This knot here, the final knot that we made, is going to sit at the base of your plant or at the bottom of your pot. So what I like to do is I like to open up the strands and I open it from um, the knot that's uh, right below the 18 inches, so the first set of three knots. I've kind of arranged the strands so that the final knot is in the middle and you've kind of got like this basket shape where you can plunk your pot. Once again, here is the plant that I plan to hang. I'm gonna to try to center the bottom of the pot right above that final knot. So now the plant is just sitting in the middle of that um, nest that I created with all of the different strands. And then I'm gonna slowly just pull the hanger up so that it's on top of the plant. So you can see if I pulled up right now, the pot would basically nestle inside, but I'm just gonna check to make sure I don't have any leaves that are caught because this is um, quite a leafy plant. I think, I think that's it actually, it's not too bad. So now when I pull up, the plant comes with it. I'm just gonna center the pot in the hanger. And there you have it. Here is my hanging plant. Super simple, holds very well. And I am ready to pop this onto my ceiling. I am so excited. That is going to be it for this um, very, very simple tutorial. It sounds more complicated than it is. Once you get started, it will be very easy and you can bang these out in like five to 10 minutes once you have the measurements. That is going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, please take care and bye for now.